Santa Fe will stay for now. Tobago. One in the process of ripening King of the North. Some more cayennes. It is a cold September day. It is that many degrees outside. I've decided to harvest my turmeric and my ginger. Apparently, they don't like weather under 5 degrees, and that's where we're heading tonight. So let's see what I got. This was just a small piece of ginger that I purchased at the store, cooking ginger. I planted it sometime in, I want to say December or January. So it's had nine months of grow time at least at this point. So we'll see what we got out of it. Not sure how to harvest this stuff exactly, but let's see what we got. Remember, this was from one small piece of ginger from the store. Pretty sure this is the ginger or the turmeric. I'll find out momentarily. Oh, that's a root. Ooh, it smells like ginger. Mm. We'll look that up. Can I use ginger root? Probably. Well, I am. Can I use ginger leaf? Ginger stuff. Oh, it's very much in there. I think I'm just going to dump the whole thing out. And see what our root system is like. Pretty good root system. This grew inside for about four months before it came outside five months. I'm just going to take it apart gently here. Well, no massive harvest apparently. There's some pretty big roots in here though. Okay, I'm uh, starting to get disappointed. <laughs> Alright, let's start with this guy. Oh, wait. Here's a piece of ginger. This might be the original piece. <laughs> no, I, I didn't give this much care, so I shouldn't be expecting too much. It was underwatered. Probably not growing in the right place. The stalks are very interesting though. The roots, look at these things. You know, I'm going to leave the roots on this. <laughs> I planted inside. Hey there, pickles. How's it going? Hi. Let me finish this up, okay? 
and then we will play for a bit more. Alright, I should maybe not leave these roots in the soil. Including the piece I planted, which seems to be this one here, I got this much. Not great. You know what? It's more than I had when I started, and it's my first time trying this. Alright, on to the turmeric. Turmeric. Once again, purchased from the store. I just put a little nubbin, maybe a couple of nubbins earlier this season. Uh, I believe it was similar to the ginger sometime in December or January maybe. Growing inside for about four months. I don't even know if I'll use turmeric. I've used it a bit, but not much in the past. So maybe I'll find some uses. It's good for adding color. Ooh, I'm feeling some things deeper down. This is a good sign. All right, let's dump the whole thing. Now this one was grown in partial shade. Probably didn't get as much water as it should. This and the ginger were just kind of afterthoughts. Let's see if I can grow any. All right. Turmeric, some pretty big roots. Mm, I can smell it already. All right, let's see if we can rip the half of this. All right. So similar to ginger, it seems to grow more towards the top. I thought it'd be like a potato. It's not. Here's a piece. I suspect it is one of the OG pieces that I actually planted in the ground based on the way it looks. Hmm. At last, we can retire and give up this life of crime. It has a very good root system. Like thick roots. Hey, Mr. Pickles. How's it going? You want some turmeric? Our dogs can have turmeric, so it's going to be a no for now. So I'm going to go through this, figure out what's edible, what's not, and uh, do a final weigh-in in the edits. My verdict, I put very little effort into this. I could have bought as much ginger for a dollar, so. Fun to go for the fun of it. But that might be it. At least until I can find a good use for turmeric or ginger. I can dry them, dehydrate them, but they don't last very long fresh, apparently.
harvest at first blush, they say, especially this time of year. Roman tomatoes, these are planted later. Lettuce is growing well now that the weather's cooler. The basil I transplanted, however, is not doing great. In the back there, I've got some bush beans. I should grow bush beans more once I figure out how to freeze them properly. Get enough to handle the whole winter, given how well they grow. Fall radishes, at least the ones that weren't picked out by presumably a rabbit a week or two ago. There were beets here. There are not beets anymore. Some of the last cherry tomatoes of the season, at least from this plant. It's got the diseases that tend to happen this time of year. Whatchamacallit. Yeah, that's what that is. I get a lot of this this time of year, unfortunately. But so far, it hasn't destroyed any of my plants. So I keep up with it as much as I can. Too much rain. These are not sun gold. They are uh, something nugget, maybe. Maybe on the screen there. Over here, we've got some Grand Rapids lettuce. Rabbits are not touching it. They have, however, consumed most of the. Uh, I want to say Lola Rosa lettuce. Red leaf lettuce. I don't know, maybe the color? Hello, mushroom. I forgot to hit record. I've cut down the black crim. A black crim. Much loved tomato. Keeping the stem on for now. I've heard some things that that might help. There are several skycamish, a couple of black crims, one black from Tula, two black from Tulas waiting to be harvested. Hopefully, they will blush in time. With this cold weather upon us, I don't know if these zucchinis and magda squash, like a zucchini, will ripen in time. But I had a bit earlier than last year. Maybe harvested a dozen. I want to double that next year, freeze some, make more bread, incorporate more zucchini into meals. Here we have another king of the north. It started to blush. Harvest it now, I'll take the chance. The rest of the tomatoes. A couple of Opalka, San Marzano, Paul Robeson. Valencia, and not brandy wine. These two Paul Robesons are showing signs of early blushing. I'm going to give it another day before I harvest them though. I know the big trend this year is harvest everything at first blush, but I hedge my bets just a little bit. However, I'm not going to wait too long because this stuff, look at this, it's starting to creep up on this one here. Oops, shit. Yeah, one tomato's fallen. Anyways, not a good sign. I'm gonna cut it back. Take it all down. And hope. Maybe. It will. Do its thing. These may not be brandy wine, but had a lot of harvests. However, it's kind of a generic tomato flavor. Better than store-bought, but not exciting. Gold Rush bush beans, if I'm correct. I didn't plant a lot of beans this year, but I do want to figure out how to freeze them properly so I can plant a lot next year. Still more producing. Yeah. Small handful for today. Just add it to my overflowing baskets.